It's all has a day of stress, mm. and they've you know been late for work, and they've run for the bus, and they've got yeah. a on the, on the workload, and they've got that going on. They're going to feel digestively, probably exhibit digestively some problems and symptoms. Very likely, yeah. But then, day by day by day, and after a week and a month and a year and two years, and that perpetual stress. What are the long term effects of that perpetual stress with with that in mind on that gut function? Yeah. Well, I see a lot of patients for what I would call a um, a stress related microbiome injury, and what I mean by that is that probably it might be long term, low level stress, anxiety, elderly parents to look after, high pressure job, maybe some toddlers in the house, these sorts of things that just create this constant low level pressure, anxiety. So the stress has a physical impact on our digestion. For example, it speeds things up, so more substrate is delivered to the colon, where bacteria can have a field day, good and bad. Um, we also know that stomach acid increases and that changes the pH of the gut. And so when the P if you remember from like GCSE biology, pH has a big impact on which bacteria can live where. And so ultimately, if we change the pH of the gut through chronic stress, we can end up in a situation where we have much more unfavorable bacteria and much less of the good guys that are doing good things for us. 